the curve pattern feature patterns parts, other parametric features, and faces equally spaced along a curve. The curve may be defined with 2D sketch entities, such as splines, arcs, or circles, as well as entities in 3D space, such as 3D curves or part edges. For best results, create the curve starting on the part, feature, or face to be patterned. The path may be defined with several entities, as long as they connect from endpoint to endpoint. The entity being patterned and the path must be defined before the curve pattern feature is used. Select the curve pattern from the feature toolbar and then select the entity type to pattern. A part, feature, or face. Choose part pattern to define the pattern with additional instances of existing parts. As a reminder, only one of each unique part is needed in the part studio. When several instances of a part are required in a design, instance the part in an assembly. This ensures the bill of materials is correct. Use the part pattern option only when working in a tooling part workflow or when patterning surfaces. These workflows are explained in a future lesson. Choose Feature Pattern to define the pattern with features from the features list. Check Reapply Features to regenerate the features for each instance. Typically, you use this option when you need to apply the original features defined and typed to all the patterned instances. Patterns that reapply features result in longer regeneration times and should only be used when necessary. Choose Face Pattern to define the pattern with selected faces. When working with parts, the selected faces to pattern must apply to the same part as the original face. In this example, the part pattern is selected. In the Path to Pattern Along field, pick the curve, edges, or sketch entities to pattern along. Next, input the instance count. This value includes the original seed being patterned. On shape selects equal spacing to space the number of instances evenly along the entire length of the selected path. Check skip instances to skip specific pattern instances. This is helpful when encountering conflicting geometry or when specific instances should be excluded from the pattern. On shape displays a white dot outlined in gray for each instance. You can skip an instance by selecting its respective dot or using a box selection to select multiple instances to skip. The skipped instances are indicated with a light blue outline. Check Keep Orientation to align the instances in the same orientation as the seed. If the original entity that was patterned changes in some way, the instances rebuild to reflect that change.